New attend gripping new video showing the moment a disagreement between deputies and police turned physical. Take a look for yourself. Oh. You have no authority. That, you're not going to tell me what to do, mother. Dude, you're not going to get in my sheriff's hey, face. You want to do that? Just like you told me. Unbelievable. You just saw right there. Lieutenant John Szymanski with the Cleveland County Sheriff's Office lunging at a Lexington police officer. This all during a SWAT call this past Tuesday. News Force Tanner DeLeon has been breaking down the footage. Tanner, what led up to th this hostility? Well, Jolene Dillon, that SWAT team had assembled to try and take in a wanted person. But Lexington Police Chief Ronnie Johnson said he had no idea it was happening. County 911. I'm a, a private investigator and a bounty hunter. And I was wondering if y'all have a sheriff's unit that can, can meet us. We've got a uh, big time felon out of Tulsa. It's, it's an ex Tulsa SWAT officer. It was this call to Cleveland County Dispatch that set everything in motion Tuesday afternoon. Three bounty hunters asking for help to bring a wanted man from Tulsa. At the time, he was in a home in Lexington. Cleveland County immediately sent a SWAT team to the home, including Sheriff Chris Amoson. As Amoson sped to the scene, a Lexington police officer pulled him over. Are you Sheriff Amoson, I'm going to SWAT call Okay, sir, this podium, could you do an 85 and a 55? As Sheriff Amoson explains what he's doing, you can hear the confusion in the officer's voice, unaware that a SWAT call had been made. Here in Lexington? Yeah. We have an armed person we, we don't know about. Oh, okay, I'll call my chief and let him know. Just four minutes later, that officer arrives at the standoff, along with Lexington Police Chief Ronnie Johnson. Things immediately got tense. I'd like to know what's going on in my own damn city. We would have notified you, sir. We would have? Yeah. Well, hold on. I've been at the city. I've been down there to the PD hall. Chief Johnson clearly frustrated his department wasn't told about the SWAT call out. According to the call, yeah. it says Lexington was notified they refused to respond. With tensions already high because of the standoff situation, the SWAT team starts to move away, but a Lexington officer takes issue with how things are going. You're not going to talk about chief like that, sir. That's not going to happen. You can get the out of my face. I don't give a who you are. Cooler heads try to prevail. You need to stop. Lexington PD is not Chill out, out back out. up, everything's going to be okay. Instead, things boil over. You can back out, dude. Negative. This right here ain't We're not going to be successful. Okay. Sheriff, you need to back up out of my face, sir. You have no authority. You the tell me what to do, my Dude, you're not going to get in my sheriff's hey, face. You want to do that? Just like you told me. Chief Johnson steps in to pull his officer out, and Sheriff Amoson tells the pair to leave. Oh, yeah. Perfectly clear. Fortunately, things didn't go further than that, but it appears both agencies have some underlying problems. A statement from the Cleveland County Sheriff's Office points to, quote, long-standing strain in the relationship with Lexington PD, attributed to Cleveland County Sheriff's Office's investigation into alleged abusive and unethical killing of dogs within the city. With Under Sheriff Mike Finley adding, quote, I have serious reservations about the conduct of those officers and their leadership. We also spoke to Lexington Police Chief Ronnie Johnson and he tells us the body camera proves no one from his department assaulted anybody and that he requested the investigation into his department, which found nothing.